Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. I want to show you a beautiful deck that was given to me. It was sent over to me by Maria Strom. It is called Hip Chick Tarot. And she asked me if I would like to do a deck review for her. Um, and I said yes. So <laughs> I'm really excited to show you the beautiful and pretty different Hip Chick Tarot. Look at this box, you guys. <laughs> so when she came to me, um, she emailed me and asked if I was interested in doing a deck review. And I was like, yeah, so cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to do a review on a tarot deck? So this is it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera onto the table so that you guys can get a better, um, a better view here on the deck itself. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me for my cough. Hip Chick Tarot is a deck full of gorgeous, diverse women. It is a beautiful, like, it's simple. It's a simple deck. It is perfect for beginners. It's perfect for readers who have been reading forever. It's perfect for everybody. But it is a really cool deck because it's full of diversity. There are different shapes and sizes. There's different, um, you know, nationalities. I mean, it is an amazing deck full of diversity. And it's women. It is just the power of women. So it's just, it's, it's really nice. And when I opened the box, I'm not going to lie, when I opened the package, I was really surprised with how gorgeous the packaging is for this deck. It's a nice, sturdy box as you can see, and um, it's purple and pink. It has a nice little description about women and the deck, and it has the creator's name right here, Maria Strom. If you are looking for where you can purchase this deck or um, information about this deck or about the creator, um, please see the description box below where I will put all of the information for you. But without further ado, Here's a picture here of Maria and a little bit about her. So you can have a look there. Now, the guidebook is juicy. Anytime there's a guidebook of size like this, it's a juicy guidebook in my opinion. Um, it has the images, black and white, of the cards. And it has a nice, chunky paragraph of meaning for each of the cards. Okay, you also have a larger insight for the, the major arcana. So you have like a full page of insight for those cards. And then you also have <clears throat> spreads and examples, like example reading. So if you are a beginner tarot reader and you don't know how to perform a reading or you're not familiar with what spread to try, um, there's little... Um, descriptions here for how to perform a reading how you know like a like a mock reading to give you an example there's also um, insight about what each of the cards are and how they're formed it's just a delicious a delicious book <laughs> um, I love it let's get on to the cards because I know that that's what everybody wants to see the backs of these cards are so simple but so flashy so we have flowers a beautiful blue background with the flower the cards are a, like a satiny matte finish and they're pretty basic size I would say they're a little bit larger than a regular um, standard size tarot maybe floating between a tarot and an oracle size and then we have the cards themselves and the imagery is full color but it's simplicity I'm not gonna go card by card because that takes away the magic of um, the deck I want you guys if you have this deck or you purchase it for yourself to enjoy the excitement of seeing the cards for the first time but look at this high priestess <laughs> she's got the third eye she's got the moon she's got the little cat here and another little cat here it's different it follows 
somewhat the um, Rider weight, but it's also very different. Look at this gorgeous nature card. This is also, um, I believe this would be the, the Empress. So as you could see, some of the cards don't follow the typical names of the Major Arcana. So this one, if you um, if you're familiar with tarot, you would take this as the Empress, but it's under here. It's as nurture, um, nature. I'm sorry. Look at how gorgeous. Um, let's see. We have here's another one. Structure. This normally would have been the Emperor, but we have structure here. So as you can see, there's a lot of diversity. This would have been the Hierophant. Um, a lot of diversity in the cards. Oh, look at the lovers. And it's simple. That's what I really liked about it. When, um, oh, look at this tower card. Instead of the tower card looking like a disaster of crumble, it's actually like the disaster to release you, to set you free, which is actually what the energy of the tower card is. It's setting you free. It is, yeah, a life event that may be um, not so positive or... You know what I mean? But at the same time, it sets you free. It changes the shift. So I love that she really got that into the cards. Here's strength. It's funny because when you're going through, when I was going through the deck, I found myself in the cards. So I feel like um, when you're going through it, you're going to find yourself in the card as well. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Some of the, the characters, oh, look at death. I loved that one. Look at how simple it is, but it speaks so loudly. Um, the, it's funny because you'll find a character that just looks like you. <laughs> so that's what I loved about that. Um, okay, and oh, here's the moon. Everybody, I always have to see the moon card in the deck. So here's the moon. Gorgeous. And I love that it's a pyramid. That one speaks volumes to me. Um here is the suits. So the major arcana is in the color purple. And then we have the queen of creation or the queen of create. So create is in the it's in the color of red which would um, associate with fire or the wands suit, I believe. So we have the queen of create which is takes place of the king. Hell yeah. <laughs> The boss of create, which would have been the queen in the tarot. The teen of create, which would have been the knight. And the child, which is obviously the page. So the, the, the names are, are switched over. Here's the ace of create. It's a, it's a paintbrush. Because creation, fire, fire energy is creation and create. You create, you make paintings, you make art. Isn't that gorgeous? The suits, the, the minor arcana are not pip cards. They each have their own um, imagery. So it's very easy to kind of, you look, just look by looking at the image, you can kind of tell what the meaning is. That's what I love about this. It's so simple. The water suit is in blue and it's feel because blue is water or feelings and emotions. So again, you have the, the queen of feel, the boss of feel, the teen of feel, <laughs> and the child of feel. So same thing, There's you have aces. And like I said, the minor arcanas all have their own imagery. I love it. Then we have Think, which is the um, air suit. So it would have been the sword suit. And it's in yellow. Because the swords or air is your thoughts or communication. And I want to see if I can find my character. Here, <laughs> when I saw this one, I was like, that's so me. My husband even was like, that looks like you, babe. It was so cute. <laughs> um, but I really like 
just I just uh, I look at the four of think typically in the tarot this one is looked at as like someone who's dead but this the four of think and this one is sleeping which is how I associate it with is sleeping taking a nap you're resting you're meditating you're taking a break so I really like how she made the associations for that Look at nine of think. And then finally, we have the earth, which is queen of earth. So it goes by the earth suit and it's brown. And let's see, which ones do I want to show you? Look at the child of earth. <laughs> the ace of earth is just, it's, it's literally just earth. Isn't that so cute? Let me see. I don't even think I showed you the ace of think. boss the queen child here is the ace of think is just a light bulb so simple the four of earth <laughs> the five of earth and one more picture the ten of earth so this would have been the pentacles suit in the tarot. So as you guys can see, these cards are very, um, they're simple. So if you are a tarot beginner, I highly recommend a deck like this. It's, it's easy because you look at the imagery and you can just tell, like it ignites your intuition. It really helps you trust your intuition, which is what I feel tarot readings are so about. Um, rather than just memorizing the cards, it's just about trusting your intuition. Um, I love the Major Arcana. I think, look at the star. I think it's beautifully done. I feel like Maria did a really amazing job. I would definitely use this deck to read. Um, I would definitely use this deck to read, look at the hanging or hangman, the hanging. <laughs> um, I would definitely choose this deck to read for clients because it's very, simple and it's just it's very um what's the word it's not like it's, it's not it's not harsh and I feel like for people who are not familiar with tarot or who might be a little nervous to have a tarot reading if it's their first one because they look at it as taboo this would be one of the decks that I would want to take with me because um it's gentle and the imagery is soft and it's powerful at the same time um and it's beautiful too there's so many colors it's so many colors and just the the imagery speaks for itself, so it would be a deck that I would choose for client readings, especially the in-person readings. Um, it's definitely one that I am going to be working with. I think it's lovely. I think that Maria did a beautiful job, and I'm just so glad to be able to um, share this deck with you guys. I love I love nature. I think this is my favorite, <laughs> as, well, as well as the moon card, but there's just something about that. It's like she is owning it completely naked she's like feeling herself she's completely like 100 percent. i'm woman i am power i am creation i create oh and then the high priestess i love that she has a third eye <laughs> um but yeah i really am glad that maria asked me to um give this little review for you guys to see um and it allowed me to have that that little time to share with you guys because I think that um, this is a beautiful deck. So Maria, thank you so much for allowing me to um, review your cards and thank you so much for creating such a wonderful diverse deck. We don't see a lot of diversity in our decks and it's just nice, especially when it's like focused on women. Um, I think it's just brilliant. Oh, look at the universe. Hell yeah, that would be the world card in the tarot. Um, I just think that we need more diversity in our decks. And I also think that, you know, as a woman, it's nice to see women being depicted in all roles. Um, and, you know, having a deck that is 100% pure woman, there's absolutely no males in here. It's... It's really nice. So I love it. Thank you so much, Maria. And um, and for you guys, like I said, if you are interested in purchasing this deck or getting to know it, seeing more imagery of it, or um, checking Maria out, please click the links below in the description box. You can follow her on Instagram um, and check out her website and everything. And like I said, this is called the Hip Chick Tarot. It comes in a gorgeous box like this. 
a nice sturdy box and it's a full 78 card deck and it comes with a luscious guidebook. So perfect for beginners and perfect for those of you who just enjoy collecting decks and reading and all of that. It's a nice collection to add. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope that you are all having a beautiful weekend and I will be back soon with another review. Bye my loves.